So what's going on north of the border, eh? We can't forget about our neighbors up north, and America and I will report in this video some interesting things going on with Canada and their citizens. From rowdy deer causing problems to the longest recorded sniper shot, here is unbelievable recent news from Canada. Number 12, Canada is turning 150. Congratulations to Canada for officially turning 150 years old this weekend. Everyone grab your maple leaf flags and wave them around proudly. Put a little extra maple syrup on your bacon to celebrate Canada. This is kind of a big deal. People like Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall are expected to visit the former colony of the UK. The Canadian federal government is planning on spending $300 million worth of festivities and possibly Canada's highest profile event ever. There's free passes to Canada's national parks. Many major cities such as Toronto, Montreal and Quebec will all be celebrating today. Canadians have high expectations for celebrations at Parliament Hill in Ottawa as well. Number 11. The Canadian Sniper Record Recently, in June 2017, the longest confirmed kill shot was recorded by a Canadian Special Forces agent against a Taliban soldier in Iraq. General Michael Rouleau stated that his troops have been keeping up with the difficult task of assisting Iraqi security forces and they fired this shot in defense. The exact identity of the shooter remains classified for security reasons. How long of a shot though, you might ask? A whopping 2 mile shot. This destroys the last record of 1.53 miles by a long shot. The exact measurement was 11,319 feet total, and Canadians have proven to be some of the best shots out there. They've ranked 1st, 3rd, and 4th in the longest confirmed kills. To give you an idea how far of a shot that is, the sniper had to measure in the curvature of the earth into the equation to help him hit his target. The weapon of choice that fired this legendary shot was the McMillan Tac-50. This will ultimately be a good device to protect yourself when a zombie apocalypse finally arrives. This has also been the preferred sniper rifle by the Canadian Army since the year 2000 and is designed right here in the good old USA. Number 10. Tim Hortons Run if you've ever been to Canada before, you would know that Tim Hortons is also kind of a big deal. They get some of the best fresh coffee, donuts, and breakfast sandwiches north of the border, and everyone is dying to get their hands on some. In June 2017, a Coast Guard helicopter pilot had to get trained on proper usage for their aircraft when they needed to make a quick Tim Hortons run. The pilot landed the vehicle on a small field on Prince Edward Island because apparently the drive through doesn't serve helicopters. This incident was brought to attention after the unusual sighting was spotted and the Coast Guard claimed that the aircraft did not have to land there for Coast Guard related issues. This photo here was posted on Twitter of the helicopter landing on the snow patch field in Prince Edward Island, with the Tim Hortons just to the right side. We're sure fellow Canadians understand that this was absolutely necessary in order to get some Timbits. Number 9. The Poutine Donut So while we're on the topic of Tim Hortons, let's take a look at how this restaurant chain is celebrating the big birthday. What seems to be more patriotic to Canadians than Tim Hortons and Poutines? Absolutely nothing. In this photo, we see the patriotic poutine donut, which is served with gravy, cheese curds, and potato wedges, only available on Canada Day. The strange thing about this Canadian delicacy is that it can't be purchased on Canadian locations and it's only available at select locations in the US. In case you absolutely need to get your hands on this, the states with the most Tim Hortons is Michigan with 180 locations, number 2 is Ohio with 103 locations, and New York State with 91. Number 8. Canadian Presence in Latvia Canadian troops have arrived to the small Baltic country of Latvia in order to possibly fend off any Russian aggression. Parts of Latvia are somewhat pro-Russian, and by sending troops there, the Canadians are hoping to prevent an annex similar to what happened with Crimea. However, the Canadians were getting greeted with quite a bit of criticism, especially towards a former commander in their air force who was caught cross-dressing. Russian news outlets openly mocked the Canadians and stated that the military should not be trusted as well as them being incapable of stopping any kind of Russian aggression. It seems as though Russian media is hitting Latvia pretty hard and Canadians are the butt of every joke right now. Much of the media in Canada claims that it's all just fake news though. Number 7. Moose Ruins the Party The island of Newfoundland was hoping to grow a beautiful display of tulips in the shape of a maple leaf in order to celebrate Canada's 150th birthday. In May of 2017, the tulips were reaching maturity and were looking as if they could be ready just in time for the celebration. But some moose came in and decided to ruin the party and ate the entire maple leaf shaped botanical garden in Newfoundland. This was an all-you-can-eat salad buffet for the moose that snuck in here, and yes, this is news in Canada. 
This photo here shows the garden where tulips were being grown, and you can tell that the moose had absolutely no mercy, just eating everything in sight. The three men in the photo from the University of Newfoundland seem a little bit confused and disappointed about all this, but they still know that they'll make the news in Canada, so they keep a smile on their face. Number 6. Justin Bieber's Shoe Sale A student from Germany is selling one of Justin Bieber's shoes that she obtained when Justin kicked off his shoes and threw them into the crowd. This happened during a concert in Germany, and she's asking for the price of $5,000 despite the backlash from other Bieber fans and the guy with the left shoe. The shoe itself is quite expensive and is one of Kanye West Yeezy's Adidas, which has a retail price of at least 200 bucks. Due to the fact that Bieber wore them, the bidding price has soared within the past few days. The girl Laura, who was lucky enough to catch it, we suppose, has vowed to donate some of the money to a local German charity. It's earned the nickname as the Right Yeezy, and the Left Yeezy apparently has its own huge Instagram which has blown up within the past four days. Number 5. The Viking Discovery the Lanso Meadow is located on the northern tip of Newfoundland, and it's here where archaeologists made a shocking discovery. This is the only known Norse settlement in North America, dating to year 1000 AD, and was founded in 1960. Due to the discovery of this settlement, it's now much more widely accepted that Vikings have in fact made contact with Canadian soil at least four centuries before Christopher Columbus. But maybe this wasn't the only settlement on Newfoundland after all? The excavations continued on Point Rosé this time on the southwestern tip of the island of Newfoundland. Sarah Parkat considers herself to be a space archaeologist and has found ancient discoveries in Egypt by simply looking at satellite images. Archaeologists have found 28 pounds of burnt slag metal that they believed was used to melt down iron ore like you see in this photo. They believe that no other civilization would be able to use iron ore at this time on the island of Newfoundland other than the Vikings. Norse structures don't tend to stay well preserved since they are especially made out of wood or earth mounds. But the iron ore was a big find in the right direction to uncovering Viking settlements in North America. Could these artifacts be from a Norse outpost? Number 4. Drake's Coin No, we're not talking about the rapper Drake. After the Viking settlement didn't last, which European country came to the west coast first? Here's a little Canadian history for you. The Spaniards were known for settling in California, but now it seems like the English were here before Juan Perez charted the area. But did Sir Francis Drake discover western Canada? Here you see the coin, which was discovered by an amateur treasure hunter in 2014. And this is the discovery that could potentially change history. It's what's known as a Edward VI shilling, and was believed to have been made between 1551 and 1553. This discovery adds support to claims that the English were indeed here before the Spanish. It's known that Drake did visit California, but many didn't believe the claims that he went even further north. Most official records state that the Spanish were the first ones to make it here in 1774. So was this just a lucky find or what? Number 3. 125 year old beer Many Canadians will enjoy Canada Day with refreshing Molson or Labatt Blue, but this one lucky guy from Nova Scotia got a little taste of history. If you came across a 125 year old beer, would you be willing to give it a try? Canada is known for their quality beer. This man in Halifax came across this extremely old brew. Scientists determined that it was safe to drink. This was recovered by an amateur scuba diver named John Cruz in November 2015 under about 3 meters of silt in Nova Scotia. At first, he thought it would be impossible, but it was preserved with a cork. It turned out to be a British pale ale that was made in London, which was a type of beer drink during long journeys. Normally, whiskeys or wines end up aging well. As soon as the cork was lifted, he immediately smelled rotten eggs. Not willing to miss the chance to taste a once-in-a-lifetime beer, it sadly disappointed him and tasted the way it smelled. Worth a try, though. Number 2. The Worst Kind of Moose Attack In Canada, there's all kinds of wild animals out there that can get you. Black bears are one of them, but possibly the most common of all fatal animal encounters turn out to be by moose. A man was hunting with his brother out in the woods in Dog Lake, Ontario, Canada, when he accidentally spilt moose urine on himself. The smell of the urine attracted a large bull, which then proceeded to kick him repeatedly. The moose had his way with the man, unfortunately, and he suffered 5 broken ribs and 15 bone fractures. Snopes is calling this story a hoax, but moose have been known to get a little bit out of control when a moose was found in a grocery store in British Columbia. Number 1. Deer Ding Dong Ditch You might not be too happy about a deer scurrying across your lawn and eating all your plants and whatnot, but how would you like it if a bunch of deer pranksters would ring your doorbell and then run away? The Ding Dong Ditching Deer targeted an elderly woman who would find a way to ring the doorbell with her hooves and then scurry away. She claims that she really wishes that they would just stop already. She also stated that she attempted to modify the doorbell but with no avail and the pranksters just kept on coming back. 
One of the deer agreed to a short interview, and after asking about what he did after ringing the doorbell, he responded that he ran for his dear life. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and be sure to hit that subscribe button for new videos every day.